Reed Racing is Sharp Dressed Sam. Jeff Fout drives. The two is Bell Matlantic. Owned by Metters and Lineberger with Greg Grismore. Three is Arlen Longlow. Owned by Cloverleaf of Dayton Inc. Todd Jones. Four is Groomsman. Owned by Frenchie Fuller with Kane Kaufman. Five, Beverly Bushelman's Beatty Towner. The driver, Bob Harper. Six is Old Brooklyn. Owned by Oop Doing Trotting with Brad Henners. Number seven is Tinsel Terror, owned by Leland Abbott with Elliot Deet. The eight is Flash as a Future, owned by Alan Hoke with Kyle Later. Nine is David Hanauer's Ruff and Trent Tharps. And off the second tier, the ten, Master Joe, owned by Russ Angel Bank with Tony Fuller. Post time in six minutes. Third race field is lined up in the backstretch and set to go. They're off and pacing. Groomsman leaves from between horses. Flash shows a future from the far outside. Old Brooklyn, sharp dress Sam up close from the rail. Length and a half farther back to Master Joe, just in front of Belm Atlantic. Our little log low, Beatty Towner, third last to Rough and Tinsel Terror. Midway through the far turn the first time. And Groomsman on the inside gives way to Old Brooklyn early. Charging up three deep is Flash Ozy Future. Just in behind Sharp Dress Sam is third. Followed next by Master Joe in fourth. By the opening quarter, 28 and one fifth. Passing this dance for the first time. And it's Kyle Later and Flash Ozy Future. Park three deep through much of the first quarter. They've cleared off now. They open up by two. Old Brooklyn right there in second. The gap is three to Groomsman in third. Master Joe gets the cover flow rolling from fourth. He's three off the pace. Sharp Dress Sam at the rail is fifth. Up alongside sixth is Bell Atlantic, followed by Arlen Loglo, Beatty Towner, Ruff, and Tinsel Terror. Over to halftime. Pace setter is Flash Ozy Future in 57 and 3. 29 and 2 on quarter two as they round the turn into the back stretch. Flash Ozy Future leads the way. Now Master Joe, the long shot, is pressing from the outside in second. Followed by Old Brooklyn, who's getting the perfect trip in the pocket third. Well placed in the cover flow. Belm Atlantic, a length and a half off the lead in fourth. Locked in groomsman, shuffle back to fifth. Third over Beatty Towner. Sharp dress Sam. Rough, far little log low. Gapped out trailing Tinsel Terror at the three quarters. Flash Ozy Future holding off. A challenger, Master Joe, 126 and 3. Three sixteenths of a mile left as they make the turn for home now. It's Flash Ozy Future still holding off Master Joe. Old Brooklyn yet to be heard from, but he's right there in the pocket, followed by Groomsman along the inside. Far outside is Belm Atlantic driving through the final 16th, and Kyle Later starts to urge Flash Ozy Future on. Old Brooklyn, Master Joe still there on the outside. Flash shows the Future, a bit rough at the line, very tight there. Flash Ozy Future, very rough at the line. Not sure if he broke or not. Over Master Joe and Old Brooklyn tight for fourth, 155-3. and three. For the winner's circle is number 10, Master Joe. Inherits the victory here. A five-year-old brow-gelded son of Jade Lobel out of Annie's Special by Flying Bread, owned by trainer Russ Angel Beck, and driven to victory by Tony Fuller. Ten six eight four four thousand nine hundred thirty one dollars even.